Hey guys, Ion here. So, here you can see Ronnie Common training, and this is his most recent training video, 2021, he's doing some biceps, and I don't know, but it seems like he grew a little bit, I think his arms look fuller and bigger than the last time we saw him, what do you think? Look guys, the way I see it, so Ronnie Coleman is the best bodybuilder of all time, probably, and I'm pretty sure that he is the most massive bodybuilder of all time, I don't think anybody was able to put so much muscle on their frame. And now he's retired and he's in his 50s, but that doesn't mean that his genetics are completely gone. So there are other bodybuilders who are in their 50s and they look impressive. So Ronnie Coleman, I'm sure he can still look great, only if he was able to train very hard and very often and eat a lot. So he has surgeries, like he had so many surgeries, like over 12 surgeries at this point, back surgeries. It definitely takes some time to recover after all the surgeries, so he very often can't train, he's not able to train. Probably also not able to eat as much as he would like and to use all the gear that he would prefer. But when he is able to catch a break between everything that is happening in his life, and he actually goes to gym often and he eats probably a little bit more, he grows. And look at his biceps now, look at his arms. Those arms are looking pretty impressive, right? Probably better than most of you watching this video, including myself. So, he can, he can get the muscle back. If he was just healthy, if he finally fixed that, that issue with his spine, and he was actually able to eat and train hard and everything, he would, have, he would have gotten back to his, of course, not his old size and old look, but he would look very impressive, I have no doubts, because he still loves bodybuilding, he's still living the lifestyle, and if everything was good in his life, as far as health, he would still be training super hard and he would look amazing. So, right now you can see his progress, and he did, he did progress for sure, look at the biceps, the arms, he grew. Interestingly enough, uh, in the same day, we have an update of his biggest rival, Jay Cutler, who is also retired, but even though he also trained very hard, probably not as crazy as Ronnie, yeah, he wasn't that strong, but he was still training very hard for the majority of his career, he was still able to get away with less injuries, a lot less, for sure. Especially because he didn't really train very intensely uh, in his uh, later years. So he switched from high intensity, low volume to high volume stuff. He was still training heavy, no doubt about that, but he was doing a lot more sets, a lot more reps, and that was probably the reason why he was able to maintain such an impressive physique, even after he retired. He's not really that old, he didn't hit 50 yet, but at this point, I mean, look at the legs, look at the separation, he still has an insane level of conditioning. He was not able to maintain this level of conditioning back when he was an active bodybuilder. In the offseason, he would get a little bit chubby, you know, a little bit watery in order to actually make progress, which he made year after year. But right now, he doesn't have to make any kind of progress, what he needs to do, what he wants to do is to maintain a decent physique, and that's what he's doing. He's probably like on TRT or something like that, maybe sometimes he, he pushes the things a little bit, but usually I'm sure he's staying just on TRT doses, and he's eating uh, healthily, of course. Most of these bodybuilders, most people from the industry, they never really go back to the uh, usual, normal way of eating. And when I say normal, I mean eating junk food very often. So once you get used to eating clean, you will probably never go back to eating uh, like, a, like a regular person, really. So yeah, he also talks about it. Some, some days, you know, he has like two meals, some days he has like six meals. So it really depends on what's happening in his life, but meals are not the priority like they used to be. But he always eats well, and also the training, it's not a priority, of course, but it's always there. He's training very frequently. And as he said previously in one of his posts, he still enjoys training very, very much. He still finds it the best part of his day. And it shows, it shows. He looks absolutely amazing at this point. Jay Cutler, 2021, at the age of 47. All right, enough talk about the legends. Let's talk about the potential future legends of the sport of bodybuilding. And let's check some New York Pro updates. So right here we have Hassan Mustafa. Uh, practicing his posing with help of Jose Raymond and also Flex Wheeler, who you will see in a moment. And uh, right here you can see also the physique of, of Hassan Mustafa at this point, three and a half weeks out of New York Pro. What he's writing here, as you can read, it shows that he's really focused. That's what he's saying. He wants to, pre to improve on everything. He wants to improve on his posing and stuff, but his conditioning and three and a half weeks out? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Is he gonna be able to get ready in time? Because his waist looks huge right here, I mean, his, his stomach looks very distended. 
which is not, uh, uh, you can see right here, so the Boston Mass or Jose Raymond is showing it to him. Uh, from the back though, uh, he looks amazing, like he has so much muscle, he packs so much mass. The legs, one of the best legs ever, the most massive legs of all time in bodybuilding. And this is a great tip, look at this, yeah, what a difference, right? The flex showed him. So just, just the tilting his uh, elbows backwards a little bit, it created much better looking uh, back double bicep, much, much better illusion. And now he's torturing him a little, Flex is torturing Hassan by trying to improve his posing stamina, you know, counting to 20, holding a pose for 20 seconds. So that's tough, that's tough. I don't know if you guys compete or not, but posing, that's, that's tough, and especially if you're this big. So yeah, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of endurance. You need to practice it, and uh, he received this criticism. Hassan did back in the uh, in his previous shows. Actually, he was criticized for not being the best poser, for not really presenting his physique in the best possible light, for not being super professional on the stage when it comes to posing. Of course, he's a barbiller for a long time. I'm sure he pro he practiced posing a lot, but with the help of uh, of Jose Raymond and uh, Flex Lewis, he is taking that posing to a different level for sure. Let's get back to that previous video, so check out his stomach right here, his midsection. It doesn't look very good, does it? No, not very great, the stomach is really blown out, I'm sure Nick Walker is very happy watching this, and also the conditioning, do you think, do you guys really think this is enough, like can he really be conditioned, super conditioned, crisp in three and a half weeks if he looks like this right now? It could be the lighting, it could be just some water retention, I don't know, I'm pretty sure he has a very little fat, but most of these guys look much more shredded at this point. So from all I've seen lately from Hassan, it seems like he's not gonna bring the conditioning. No, it seems like that. I don't know if I'm wrong, prove it to me Hassan, show great conditioning, but what I'm seeing right here, I'm not really blown away, I'm not really amazed with your shape. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Am I missing out something here? I don't think I am, I think he's just uh, late. Yeah, I think he's late, and if I had to make a prediction, I would not have him actually winning the show, as I did before. Right now, I have Nick Walker as my top runner, who just posted a back training video, and you can get an idea what his back is gonna look like, and take a look at the conditioning now. His lats are separated, basically, at this point. You can see lines and feathers and veins on his lats. Okay, veins with Nick Walker, that's not really a big deal, because he has veins everywhere, like that guy is uh, vascular as hell, probably too vascular, he also has varicose veins on his lower legs, so yeah, vascularity, that's something he probably has even when he's fat, right, which is never, basically, but uh, here you can see he, his back, yeah, it's getting conditioned, it's much more conditioned than Hassan's back at this point, for sure, for sure, so maybe Nick is rushing, maybe Nick is ahead of time, maybe he will stop losing fat from this point, but I don't think so, I don't think so, I think he's just right on time, I think Hassan is late, I think Nick is right where he needs to be at this point, three and a half weeks out. And here is his stomach and his waist. It looks much better than Hassan's, much, much smaller, much more tapered down, and he definitely does look much, much sharper, right? He looks very conditioned. So Nick right here, he's also not exactly known for having the best waistline, but uh, in his photos, in his bathroom selfies, with this lighting and taken with a phone from this angle, his waist does look pretty small, but that's not really the case, it doesn't really translate on the stage, uh, not as much, but I guess it's a fine waistline, it's not horrible. It's not great, structure-wise, but it's not horrible. And conditioning, he's bringing it, like, he's really conditioned, I mean, take a look at the abs, take a look at the, the thin skin on his stomach, how much fat is there really left? Almost nothing, right? It's gonna be all about dehydrating properly, doing a proper peak week. In a week or so, he's gonna be done, right? I'm, I'm guessing two weeks out, he's gonna be ready for the show. And then he just needs to cruise in slowly and dominate that stage. Once again, if I'm gonna have to choose which bodybuilder is gonna win the New York Pro, right now I have Nick Walker. What do you guys think? Who is gonna win? Maybe John De La Rosa? This guy usually does New York Pro because he is from the New York Pro. But I'm not sure if New York Pro is going to be held in New York this year. I think it's going to be some other some other city, but it doesn't really matter. This is kind of a tradition for, for John De La Rosa. He really wants that New York Pro. And this is what he looks like right now. And he looks really good at this point. I mean, look at the legs. Separated. 
lean, right? Stomach. Pff, look at the waistline. That's the waistline I want to see. That's a good waistline. Nick Walker is fine, but this is this is a proper waistline. Can't be even compared to Hassan Mustafa's waistline. No, no, this is a good structure. This guy has a great structure, and if he actually comes peeled, which is very big possibility, like he's lean at this point. In 2019, he actually won two shows, two pro shows, where he looked absolutely peeled. So he figured out the conditioning once. That was an issue for him before, he wasn't really able to bring the conditioning, but he brought it the last time he competed, so he probably knows now, he has the formula. If he actually applies this formula and does the New York Pro, I don't know how long was he actually planning on this, if this is like a last minute entry, then he probably is not gonna be able to beat Nick Walker, but if this is planned, if he actually had this plan all along, which it seems like he wants to surprise us, if that's the case, then he may actually win that show. What do you guys think? He looks great right here, right? I mean, pff, yeah, pretty amazing. Yesterday I made a video about Margie Marvelous calling out men's physique guys about showing their legs and saying that they don't have the development. And today, pff, interestingly, I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, Jeremy Potvin, who I also mentioned in the video, posts a leg day on his YouTube channel. And this is a screenshot of one part where he actually shows his legs. And um, yeah, I mean, the quads here look decent, but the, the calves, not not great. Uh, so you guys, you can watch that video if you want. If you don't, uh, just watch my previous video or comment down here below. Tell me what do you think about that whole topic. Like, was Margie Marvelous right? Do men's physique guys have poor legs? Why do they have poor legs? Should they be posting their legs on social media or not? Whatever your take is on this funny situation, tell me down below in the comments. And what is the plan with Danny Yunan? What is he planning on doing? So he says, when you build in silence, people don't know what to attack. And uh, also here you can see a comment from George Fair. I think he's, uh, I think he's his coach. Uh, he's now everyone knows, proud of you. And he says, not everybody knows what's gonna happen, uh, what's coming. So what is coming? Look at him right here, first of all. Look at the size of that arm and the shoulder. He gained so much. I mean, the legs also. He looks huge. Does he look too big for, for, for classic physique? Is he making a transfer to 212? It could be. It could be. I'm not thinking he's big enough for 212 right now, but maybe he still wants to make progress. Maybe next year, 212. I don't know. By the way, if you don't know, he's like top six classic physique Mr. Olympia competitor. And he looks huge right now. He gained so much. Whatever is the plan, I don't know. If you guys get any info about it, tell me. But it's it could be transferred to a to a bigger division because he grew. He's bigger now for sure. All right, and for the end we have the Persian Wolf Hari Chupan with an amazing physique update, and he actually says my photo is taken today. He also says, and this is probably a translation that went wrong. I mean, it's not really understandable. What he says is. I'm coming to USA this year for being a championship this, which I don't know what it means, it's basically, he's coming to the USA, so we get that. Also it says, because I'm doing intestine workouts, <laughs> he's he's doing um, stomach workouts, uh, ab, ab work for, yeah, he has great abs already, but yeah, it's awesome that he's doing that. He says, I am Iranian wolf, yeah, and he says, I miss you guys to see you again, Mr. Olympia. So at this point, he looks huge, he looks really big, and I'm, I'm glad to see this, I'm glad that he's actually working hard to improve his package. Many, many people actually had him higher last year, many people had him actually beating Phil Heath, and the year before, they had him beating Hari Chupan, and right now, many actually have him winning the next Mr. Olympia, actually beating Big Ramy, because he wasn't far away from it, I mean, he was amazing at Mr. Olympia, and he was not sure if he's gonna be able to compete until the final moment, so he did not have ideal terms, ideal conditions. Now, if he can actually fix that, and if he knows he's gonna be competing, and everything is just fine, can you imagine how good he's gonna be? And he is also training very hard right now, he's not, he's not really taking any time off, he's not resting, and he keeps amazing level of conditioning while growing. He looks improved, he looks bigger. I don't know how much muscle can, can he actually add, at this point of his career, but he does look improved. And he is focused on maintaining a good level of conditioning, so he's only adding lean tissue, but I am curious to see what he's gonna look like 
once he actually gets super lean for the show and if everything goes well if he feels fresh rested and he is actually qualified already because he was top five that's gonna be a dangerous package that can be a potential mr olympia winning package why not can you see harry chapman actually winning the mr olympia whatever you guys think about this whole topic tell me down below in the comment section please like the video if you enjoyed it of course and if you want to see more content i'm gonna be posting a lot of videos a lot of videos in the future so guys subscribe to this channel and thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye